Lines this week helped transport the remains of four service members killed when their plane hit a mountain in Alaska 66 years ago. The flight was heading from Washington State McCord Air Force Base to Alaska when it crashed and disappeared. Now search teams are uncovering clues all these years later and helping bring closure to the families of the fallen. Here's the story tonight from King 5's Ted Land. In November 1952, an Air Force transport plane with 52 people on board took off from McCord Airfield, now JBLM. It was trying to get up to Alaska, but right before it reached its destination, the plane crashed into this mountain. It went missing, so did everybody on board, until about seven years ago when an Alaska Air National Guard helicopter spotted some debris down on this glacier. Finally, some clues. The shifting, melting ice started revealing bits of the Air Force plane and those it carried. Each June, military teams scour Colony Glacier, searching for more artifacts and remains. It is very tedious work. Uh, these guys are out here six days a week. You know, they, they're committed to the mission. We get to bring these service members home. Uh, the family members will have closure. They were out there again last month and discovered additional victims of the crash. This week, Alaska Airlines helped transport four sets of unidentified remains from Anchorage to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware for examination and testing. That process allows the Air Force to return fallen servicemen to their families. Airman 2nd Class Vern Boudin was one of the most recent names to emerge from the ice. The Air Force identified the 19-year-old using a jawbone and dog tags recovered from the glacier this summer. Boudin returned home to Minnesota last week, where his family was finally able to lay him to rest. Search teams say they'll keep returning to this glacier every summer because as this ice melts and moves, it unlocks new bits of the airplane and remains, which they previously didn't see in prior years. They say this mission, called Operation Colony Glacier, will continue until they've recovered all they can. Now back to you.